couple people have asked me how the John Deere variable speed system works. Well, right here is the transmission in the back. Right there is the shifter. There's the brake wheel. It's always good to have a fuel filter. That's where mine is. Um, the screen rod runs to the snow plow lift. Right here where that hook is, that's where the lift links for the motor deck attach. There's one right here too. And then this big spring right here. This spring keeps tension on the variator. The little spring above it keeps tension on this idler pulley right here I'm shining the light on. And the pulley on this tractor that makes all the noise is this one. See if I can get the light in a good spot. Okay. This is a double pulley right here. And the center sheave, focus in on the thing, there it is. Okay, that center sheave can actually move left and right, changing the belt ratio. Right now, it's set for maximum speed. So that belt there runs to the transmission. It's going, um, let's see, is it in full speed? I think so. But you can see that it's worn, the pulley's worn all the way up to the edge, so you can see this belt does move. And this whole pulley here will actually move front and back to keep tension on the belt. When I hit the clutch, the pulley releases tension, and this belt goes slack right here. This belt runs all the way up to the engine. Right there you can see it's attached, just right there behind the mower clutch. And somebody asked, where do you get the, where do you drain the oil out of a 210? Right there. Not very complicated, folks.